<laughs> okay guys so um, we wanted to do this video a little different um, in the past we've been doing date videos that's kind of how our channel started right so we were trying started to do off just kind of like uh, you know you came along with us and we tried out different date ideas and mm -hmm. stuff but we've kind of ventured outside of that into a different spectrum well I think uh, it's our season of life we're in right now yeah we're married now and we still date, of course, but um, we want to make our channel more about, like, life events, things that were going on, like traveling. Um, you kind of got a glimpse of that with the last video. That was our cruise, cruise yeah. and that one really blew up. That took off. Yeah. So, we kind of realized that, like, you know, we want we want you guys, your, like, our vlog family, so we want to kind of... Excuse me. I'm sorry, y'all. It's been a busy weekend. <laughs> We want to kind of bring y'all along for our life, you know, like what's going on. And then we also can look back on stuff. Because even now, I love looking back on, you know, last year's dates and just kind of seeing where we were at the time. Like planning, like, you know, going to a cake tasting and, you know, planning, you know, where our venue was going to be for our wedding and stuff like that. It's just really neat to look back on these videos and kind of see what was going on. Um but we want to kind of venture out and do some different stuff. Um, and so we want to hear from you guys. So, like, um, if you're watching this video right now and you have an idea for us, um, something like, you know, a, a date idea. I mean, we can still, we're still going on dates, so we can still do that. Um, somewhere you'd like us to visit, um, a restaurant you want us to go to and, like, make a review on it. Maybe you don't want to go. We'll go and, like, make a review and do our video on it. And we'll definitely, um, we've, we've got another cruise in September. We'll take you along for that. Yeah. We're going to Dollywood this weekend, so we'll probably yep. take you along for that too because we just we just want to try to use this as a form also to make memories but also to give information too because, you know, a lot of people, they need that kind of information. You're fixing to get a cattail in your... Well, we, it's <laughs> not, you know, like we like sharing stuff with you guys because um, we get questions all the time about stuff that we do in our videos um, and you know, we want, we want to see, <laughs> we want some more content for you guys. Like, what do you guys want to see us do? Um, what do you want to, you know, where do you want us to go? Like, you know, whatever. So just comment below, um, on this video and just let us know, um, give us some ideas and we'll be sure to like, you know, and if you haven't that. liked and subscribed, we ask that you do that. We have a goal to get to a thousand subscribers. <laughs> We're well on our way with a rousing thirty-eight, <laughs> but we want it. We want to get there. So if you'll just, you know, if you haven't subscribed and you want to, no pressure. But if you want to, we'd appreciate it because it helps us get more content out there and helps us be able to increase our options and stuff. So yeah. Then. Uh, Another thing, too, I was going to mention, like, we're going to kind of go over, like, what's going on in our lives right now, and that really scared me. Max just jumped on the swing, and I saw the swing moving. Oh. <laughs> um, so, you know, like, Adam's lost a lot of weight. Um, he gets questions all the time about, like, what's he doing? Like, how's he losing his weight? So, like, if you want to know that, we could maybe make a video on your weight loss, like, you know, kind of what you're doing. Um, so, any of that kind of stuff, um, just let us know. Um, and then right now we're going to kind of just give you some like life updates. Do you want to go first? Can I go over what you're... <laughs> well, as she said, I've lost a lot of weight. Um, so we're I married started, now. Yeah, to, we're married and marriage married is... married in September. Marriage is wonderful. Mm -hmm. we love, we're really loving it. And we're kind of working on the aspect of uh, starting our family now. We're in that season of life mm -hmm. where we... We enjoy time with each other, and we kind of wish that we had more time to do that, but we also were ready to be parents Let's just face well. it. I'm old, and yeah. Well, we're, 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 we're neither one of us young. We're, <laughs> we're, well, we, I don't know. We're not old. We're kind of like in that speed limit of life. It's like 35. You know, it's kind of like a meteor. It's not slow, but it's yeah. not fast. It's yeah. just, yeah. Well, and I get right questions all the time, like, are you pregnant yet? Are you guys expecting? And, like, every little thing that happens, like... You know, I went to the doctor the other day, and his mom was like, oh, she went to the doctor. What for? Like People go to the doctor without being pregnant. Yeah, so everybody's kind of on baby watch for us. But we definitely will take you guys along with that. Um, whenever we do find out, um, I will have a video of that, I'm sure. And if Adam doesn't find out with me, I will hopefully have a video of telling him um, I hope I find out with you. Well, I, you don't, I don't know. You might not know. I might know before you. 
I don't worry about. She'd be the one to keep it from me and surprise me with it. She don't usually <laughs> give you a meal of her baby peas me, and so. baby carrots. And... Baby back ribs. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. yeah. So, um, tell them how much weight you lost. Um, I have been dieting since January of 2022. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was 22. And um, when I first started out, I, I haven't really said this because I've been self-conscious about it. I've always in my posts and everything said I started out heavy. Um, but when I first started out, I was almost 500 pounds. I'm ashamed of that. I mean, I was not far from 500 at all. I was right at uh, four, 467, I think, was at my highest mm -hmm. what I weighed in That's at. Right. And <clears throat> that was shameful. But now I'm weighing in. Um, I weighed actually this morning, because this morning's my weigh-in day, and I'm at, okay, <laughs> I'm at 252. So if you do the math on that, 352, 452, right at about 220 pounds is what I've lost. That's and awesome. I'm still going. My goal is to get to, if I could get to 225, I think I would be happy with myself. And I mean, and I might go a little further. I mean, honestly, let's be realistic. These medical goal weights, my goal weight for my height and everything, according to a medical journal that I read, is 180 pounds. And I'm like, yeah, right. Like, okay. <laughs> so, but right now I'm kind of hanging around the 250 mark. But if I could get down to 225, I think I'd be happy. And if I want to go further, I might. But I just want to throw out there to you, if I can help anybody, I know what it's like to be big. I know how self-conscious you feel. I know the health struggles. I know, to be honest, I know the discrimination of it. Like, there were so many things I wanted to do, like ride roller coasters and uh, go, you know, skateboarding and just all kinds of stuff that I wanted to do and I couldn't do it because of my weight and you you do you feel discriminated against you feel like and I don't know who designs fat people clothes but they must think fat people we don't give a crap about fashion because it's all just these big huge ugly plaid t-shirts and stuff like that and I mean that that's discrimination in itself but when you do lose weight and you a whole new world opens up to you, you're able to do things so if I can help anybody you know, I would love to. If I can do it, honestly, anybody can because I did not have the willpower. I didn't even know where to start. I did not like vegetables and I had to do a lifestyle change. But if I can do it, anybody can. And trust me, it is so worth it. It is completely worth it. Every bit of it. And he's done really well with that. Um, let people know um, what you do for work, too, because I don't know if we've really went over that in a video before, too. Well, much. in case you don't know, I work for a uh, nonprofit organization for the state, and our job is to assist individuals who have intellectual disabilities. We help them find jobs. We help them become more independent, help them to learn life skills and social skills. And honestly, it's the most rewarding job in the world. I, I love it. Uh, the individuals that I work with, they're like family to me. I don't think of them any less than I do my own family. I, I care about each one of them, and you become a family of your own. Mm -hmm. You're really and good at your job. Working too. with them is just the highlight. I mean, going to work is a real privilege, and it's a pleasure. I mean, there are days where the paperwork and the logistics of it are kind of... Mm. But... As far as my job, I'm so happy where I'm at. Uh, I couldn't ask to be more blessed with that. And then I uh, took on some different roles in the church. I'm now an active deacon in our church. And then I'm also, me and Haley co-teach youth Sunday school. I'm the youth director. <clears throat> um, so we've had a lot. And just recently, we're getting ready to take on another project. Um, we've been asked to kind of help coordinate youth events and stuff for the association that our church belongs to. So... Mm -hmm. Big project there. We're excited about that. But God's just really opening up a lot of doors for us. And we're just in a really good season of life right yeah. now. So, um, also he mentioned church. So, like, um, if you're in the Old Fort area, um, we're at Old Fort First Baptist. And we'd love to have you um, come join us in fellowship with us at church. Um, love to see you guys. Um, and then, are and you, if you're a youth, come join our bunch. Yeah. We've, got, we've got a good group of guys and girls, and we'd love to have you Absolutely. have you there too. Um, what else you got going on? Anything else? 
Um, that's pretty much for me right now. I mean, I, it's it's been a very busy time. Yeah. But all that all that's going, and it's it's just it's just been really. We thought after Christmas really it would good. slow down, and it hasn't. Turned well, it, it's slowed down in some aspects, but then in some other aspects, it's sped up a little bit. But honestly, even during the stressful times, I wouldn't change a thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's 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 where we're meant to be. Right. Um. So I just recently got promoted. I work for a company in Asheville, and I do um, HR and training. So I'm a, the HR and training coordinator, and I love absolutely love my job as well. Um, I love training. I had a position before that was training and I'm, I'm really excited about getting back into the training part of it. And I love the HR side as well, like hiring and stuff. Um, and she's really good at her job. I've, <laughs> I've, she, just to see her thrive in her element, like when she comes in and I'll say, did you have a good day? And she's like, I had a really good day. Mm -hmm. Like she's just in her element in that, yeah. in that. And it's good to see. It's good to see the person you care about when they, when they're happy. Yeah. with their career and with the way their life's going. And I'm the children's director at our church, so um, I've been kind of planning our children's events and getting those underway, and we've had fun with that. And we're getting ready to plan, we're, well, we're planning our Easter extravaganza. Um, not sure if I'll get this video out before then, but if I do, please join us. It's April 8th at the church from 2 to 5. Um, yeah, is that it? I think that's all we're doing right now. I mean, it don't sound like much when we sit and list it, but to live it is another like, yeah. Woo. yeah. So it's a lot. For so, sure. And we both we both have some side jobs as well that we do. Um, I do some cleaning, and he does some other. It's always good. It's never good to carry all your eggs in one basket. Remember that. That's a lot. That's a life lesson right there. <laughs> and if you have the option to have a side hustle, I say go for it because I mean it's it's more money in your pocket. I'm I'm very blessed to uh, be where I'm at with that too. I have a couple. I actually have honestly, if you count my side hustles included with my main job, one, two, three, four, five. I actually have five jobs total. <laughs> but I mean, I have to say I enjoy it. Yeah. And, it, and she's got her side hustle, and she's thinking about maybe joining me in one of mine so yeah. we can be a team. So, And I think that would work out really good. <clears throat> so another thing that a lot of people don't know about us is um, <laughs> we actually have 16 cats. Um, a lot of people do know it, and they're like, wow, that's a lot of cats. Um, and to give We're Adam, not your typical cat To people, give right? Adam the benefit of the doubt here, I they weren't his. They were all mine when he met me and he just had to take on all of them but he loves them um they're, they're his baby they're, they're my, honestly coming in at the end of the day sitting down and them just running over i will say if humans love like animals love animals just mm -hmm. they know when you've had a bad day they know when you're sad and they just come up but like literally see right now they just literally they come up to you they love on you and honestly in the time that we've been together we've lost one that we had together he passed away and people say oh well you've got you know 16 more you're fine but honestly when you lose one it's it's never the same it's just like mm -hmm. losing a member of the family the dynamics different we've actually lost two no george and um forrest gump oh well, that is true yeah. we, we've lost two yeah. and you just you never you never get over it no. you you don't so we're actually gonna, um, we might have to do this over a couple of days, um, but we're gonna introduce you guys to all of our cats um, and make a little video of, of each one of them so you can kind of see um, who's who. Um, Wednesday and Bam are here already introducing themselves, but they'll get another little snippet here soon. Um, but we're gonna show you guys that. And I don't think I've ever kind of showed everybody around the house so i might do a little house tour too on this video so you guys can see we live in old fort north carolina um i live in well i live in we live in um my grandparents old house and i've been working to fix it up um and i think that she had started you know, renovation when not when me and her first started dating and since then it's been one project after the other mm -hmm. but it's, it's been a work so in progress if you, if you look at the there. before pictures of what this house looked like and the pictures now 
it don't even other than the walls being in the same place it doesn't look like the same place yeah, like it's, it's different so a lot I've of hard got, works went into that. i've got my easter decor up right now so i might give y'all a little house tour here in just a second to let you guys see that um and then we'll show you guys the cats um but like we said go ahead and like and subscribe to our our channel um and let us know what content you want to see if there's you know something around this area that we got that we can go to and um, you guys want to see us in a video with it, then just let us know, comment below, um, and we'll try to add that in, um, soon. I will give you one though, and you know, no offense to the people of Old Fort. So many people, when I tell them I live in Old Fort, they're like, you're near the geyser. We're not talking about Old Faithful, like in that aspect. People think like, geyser, geyser. The geyser's a glorified water fountain. <laughs> I mean, but it's nice. Don't get me wrong. It's nice. It's but we have so. some nice stuff here. Old Fort's a very small, close-knit community, and it's really nice here. Um, you kind of, it's one of those communities where, like, everybody knows everybody. And it's, you know, sometimes that can be a bad thing, but I think it's a good I thing. I actually had a person ask me one time, just once again, I'm, I'm harping on the geyser. I had somebody ask me, they were like, there's a geyser in your town? Y'all must live on a fault line. Do y'all get lots of earthquakes? I'm like... No, we don't live in L.A. or anywhere <laughs> like that, and it's a water fountain. It's not. It's not. <laughs> mm, that's funny. Anywho, so um, let's show you guys the house, and we'll also introduce you guys to the cats. Alicia's well, trying to make herself fun. Yeah, I know. You smell me. <laughs> Sorry, Wednesday. I know you were comfortable. <laughs> There's Adam with the babies. All the right. Babies. So um, you kind of just saw this, but this is our living room. And, um, used to just be white in here, but we painted, uh, painted it gray and painted, um, some of the furniture, um, white, that furniture there actually used to be brown. So, um, there's our lovely living room there. And there's one of our cats sleeping on the chair. <laughs> Babe, you want to come with me? Are you enjoying the cast? I'm kind of down right now. Okay, well, I'll catch you up with you. Here, I'll, jump back I'll here. catch up with you. All right, so this is our kitchen. Um, it's small. There's not a lot of counter space, but... We're trying not to eat as much as we used to. Yeah, we don't, we don't need a lot because it's just the two of us right now. And our cat's... Come in here and get their food and water. And right now we do not have a dishwasher. So I'm using this little cubby hole there to like have storage and our recyclables and stuff. But um, hopefully we will get a dishwasher soon because I'm very tired of hand washing dishes. But you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, this is our dining room. And um, this china cabinet right here and this one um, belong to my grandmother. So I have those. And we got some Easter decor here on the table. Um, and then we've got this cute little collage wall over here on the side that I really like. Adam's bought me a lot of different signs to add to the wall. So we've added over Tom. So it's really nice. Um, and then in here, I don't know if I'll show you guys our spare bedroom because it's got junk in it. It's got yard sale stuff, but this is our bedroom. We got a couple kitties on the bed. Sorry, baby. I didn't mean to wake you up. And our view out our, our bedroom window is so pretty. I don't know if you can see it because of the light, but there is a very pretty mountain outside our window. It's really pretty. And I'll show you guys the bathroom. That's our other their spare bedroom. There is another bed in there. And um, I mostly use it for storage and yard sale stuff, like I said, is in there. Um, and then this is our bathroom. And it's small and we're still kind of working on it. But um, it's a work in progress as well. We do need to redo the floors again and get that redone. So, But yeah, it's a nice little starter home and I appreciate my grandparents putting so much work into it so 
Now we have it to live in, right, babe? Well, and we've literally said our plan is to eventually build a house because her family's got quite a bit of land out in the country and we're going to probably build a house out there. But honestly, I will miss this place. We've even, yeah. we've even thrown the idea of, you know, just adding some on to this because we just like it so much. Yeah, yeah we thought we could do that as an option. You've got some sunshine on your face. It's like bright on your face. Because I'm... Just like albino, I actually got a little bit of sun <laughs> yesterday. Um, and I'll show you guys too our porch. Um, whoop, locked the door. It's called Mama opens the door, y'all. Doesn't mean everybody's gonna run to the door. Yeah, they think they get to go outside, I guess. But um, oh, there's Max. Um, so we do have two outside cats. Um, but this is our porch area. And again, look at that beautiful mountain view that we have a very pretty view here and we're truly blessed for that so all right that's our house and um like i said i will show you guys um we'll do a little snippet here soon and show you all of our cats <laughs> that's gonna take a while all right this is my firstborn this is my baby bam this is dingbat no, this, no, listen, I get to talk about him because you're going to just make fun of him the whole time. No, so, I've got nice things to say about him, too. Okay, so this is Bama, and Bama I got from the Walmart parking lot. Um, There's your answer. Right there. <laughs> this lady was giving away cats, and I had George at the time, and he was my first, and I wanted George to have a little buddy, and so I got Bama to be George's buddy. But Bama is the best cuddler. He will lay just in the crease of my neck and like just cuddle with me and he's such a love bug and I, he's just so sweet and we just love our Bama. We just love him. But Adam makes fun of him because he's a little slow and special if you know what I mean. <laughs> he's, he, of the group, he's, I don't mean this mean, I mean this is nice, he's the weirdo. He is if he, weird. if he wants to lay, he'll lay over your mouth or over your forehead. Yeah. Um, he doesn't meow, he goes, meh. He, yeah. he just mezz. He doesn't have no teeth, but well, that's he'll gum you today. I had to get his teeth pulled. And I don't know if you guys know this because I didn't know it, but like if you have a cat's teeth pulled, they can still eat hard food. I had no idea. But if you like bless his little heart, he don't have, he has no teeth um, because his teeth were pretty much bad and the vet said he'd just be better off to pull them. But he's done really well. But I will say issues. he's actually the only cat we have that's on staff because if another one gets out and goes missing, all we got to do is take Bam outside and sit him down. He will go find them yeah. and bring them back. I don't we know actually how, have one right how now. he manages that. but That's outside and he's kind of went away and we got to find him. But, um, but yeah, so Bama, Bama's kind of like our old... Are you messing with her? I'm trying to he's, keep her from knocking that He's pretty over. much our oldest one, except for, I don't know if Biscuit might be older than him, because I'm just not sure how old she is. But Bama is definitely the oldest, and he's about, um, he'll probably be 11 this year. Um, I think I got him in 2012. Um, so he's, <laughs> he's older, but he's my baby, and I just love him. But yeah, that's Bama. <laughs> All right, guys, this is Faith. And Faith, I got her after Bama, and George took up with Faith, and well, I say she took up with him, um, and they were good buddies. And so when George passed away, she she took it pretty hard because that was like her buddy. The other cats don't really like Faith, so they kind of just steer clear of her. She's the outcast yeah. of the group. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because she's Siamese. I don't know if it's. I don't know. She still gets along with everybody in a sense that she can live in the same environment with them. She ostracizes herself. But she definitely, she, yeah, she definitely she likes puts to herself. be alone. See, well, even, even now, she's. Wanting, I'd say, she's I'd say down. Bonnie is worse than her, though. I think she's not as bad. But she, she loves to be loved on, and she's super needy, and she loves to lay on our heads when we sleep. And not. interesting facts about Faith would be. She is the only cat I've seen that sleeps like an a, an owl or a bird. She will be standing up and she'll just bow her head and sleep. And we try to get her to lay down. She don't want to. And I don't know if you can see, but she has blue eyes. She has really pretty blue eyes. But um, 
Let's see. Uh, Faith, I got from my sister-in-law, Mindy. Um, they had her at their greenhouse. Um, there was little kittens down there, and I took her because I wanted a female cat um, after I had the first two boys. Um, so she was definitely a good addition to the bunch. Another interesting thing about Faith, I don't know what it is about Faith, but we have a water bowl in here. They have access to water 24-7, but if you're using the bathroom, taking a shower, doing anything in the bathroom... She will be standing on the bathroom sink mm -hmm. meowing, and because she wants you to turn the water on so she can drink it. Yeah, she I loves don't know why, to drink. but that's like her thing. That's her yeah. favorite thing in the world to do. See, I just love it. It's but okay. she's she's cool. But she's a sweet little baby, and we love her. She's our little guard kitty. She guards the house for us, don't you? Yeah. Oh, and interesting fact: she has the extra. Um, what do you call them? Dew claw or. But they call it something. Pad, I can't, can't even think of what it's called right now. Um, but she has two right here. Um, and so she definitely looks like she's wearing like mittens. We actually her said little, if her name wouldn't have been Faith, that would have been the only other name that like would have fit mittens. her as mittens. Okay, we're having a cat party on the bed apparently. So All of them want to <laughs> They want in this segment, but this is Dale's segment. So, um, so this is... Dale. Big Delbert. Yes, we call him Delbert. He's a little scared because he doesn't he doesn't know what's going on here. Um, but he um gosh. Oh, I was about for Boy, she bit your tail I about away. forgot here, hold that. I about forgot where I got him from, but how could I forget? So Dale was a shelter kitty. Um, and I rescued him from the shelter. Um I saw a picture of him and was like, I really feel like he wants me to save him. So, And I'm not, didn't you say it was his last like chance to get adopted before he, he was I mean, he down? had a little bit of time, but it was, it wasn't looking too good for him because he was at a shelter that um, was really bad for euthanizing cats. So That's terrible. Yeah. So he, he was saved and I got him when I. Graduated with my master's degree. I think it was the day I graduated. I actually went and got him. So and he is such a good cat. Like he's a sweet he's boy. He's calm. He he's a good snuggler. The only thing about him that's a quirk. We give you a quirk on each of them. He doesn't realize how big he is. Like he's a big boy. He's he's big in stature. Mm -hmm. And he will jump on you, and it's honestly like getting hit with a barbell. Like it's like. Whoa! Or if he wants to lay somewhere and one of the other cats is laying there, he will not hesitate to just like push them out of the way and lay there. Yeah. Like, but he's also like the most. He's a gentle giant. Yeah, he's he's too. very timid. And um. But a very very good cat. He, I used to call him Uncle Dell because you'll meet here shortly, uh, Wednesday and her girls, and when we when I took Wednesday and she was pregnant and. Um, he's always been like a uncle cat to her babies and they all are just absolutely in love with him because they lay with him all the time and are very like, you know, he's the father figure. Yeah. And there was something else I was getting ready to say about him. Oh, he, um, is one of two of the cats that we have that has asthma. So he, um, he does struggle with that quite a bit, but um, the vet put him on medication for a little while, and it didn't really do much. And they said that it's not really necessary. It's more of just like a, you know, it's something to keep him more comfortable. But I really don't think it was helping much with him. <coughs> he, he deals with it pretty well, um, just in general. So he's a good cat. He's a he's a sweet boy. Um, really, really handsome boy. But he's really sweet. We love our Dale. Delbert. Okay, hey, bye, Dale. <laughs> All right, next we're going to have to do this one quick. This is Oliver, but we call him Ollie. Ollie is his nickname. Ollie is a, you've heard the term feral cat. Ollie was feral, and Haley saved him. He was he was one of the cats outside of my old office building, and they caught him and did the spay and neuter program with him. Or, not, he, they did the trap and neuter program with him. And they wanted to find him a home because he was still pretty young. And they wanted to find him a home that he could um, go to instead of having to release him back out because they thought that he could be, you know, tamed. So, um, originally he was just supposed to be a foster cat. But um, I said that I couldn't give him back because I just, I feel really bad for him because I know he's had a rough life. And even now he's still really skittish with us. 
Um, and he, it was, he trusts us because if he's laying down and you approach him really softly, mm -hmm. like slowly, yeah. you can pet him can and rub him. him. Yeah. And he's made progress because when I first started living here, when, me, when we first got married, and even when me and her were dating and I would come up here and visit her, he would run and hide from me. Mm -hmm. He will at least now let me pet him. He's partial to Haley, but he'll at least let me pet him. But when we have company over, he hides. He is very private. He wants to just be left alone. Great cat. Awesome personality. I mean, he's the sweetest cat ever. He'll just he always, let you. Like, if you look at his face, he just has, like, a really sad, like, somber face. He'll let you love on him, <laughs> but like he just, he's one of those, he wants to do his own thing, and that's where he's happy is when he's just left alone to lay. And he'll lay with the other cats. And like I said, if he's in a good mood, we can go up to him and pet him. But for the most part, he just wants to be left alone. But he's an awesome cat. We, we wouldn't be the... In fact, he got out one time. The door was left open by mistake. It got left open and he got out. And this whole... Even though he's our most private one and he just kind of keeps himself, it didn't feel like home for like three days because he yeah. was gone for like three or four days. Yeah. And, when and that's he, the same for all of them. If any of them are ever gone. No, each one. It always feels like a, <coughs> there's a missing piece to it. Each one adds. But we'll wrap it up so he can go and lay back on his spot because he, he likes to be in. He's one of those under the bed, under the cat, under the chair, under the table. He just likes yeah. privacy. That's he what he, he likes to do. But great cat. We love him to death. And that's hey, bye. Ollie. Hey, bye, Ollie. Ollie. Okay, guys. This is Max. See, it says right there. <laughs> Max. Um, he is one of our outside kitties. And if you can see, he has the most prettiest eyes. Everybody that sees Max, that's the first thing they comment on is his eyes. Yeah. I've never seen a cat with that color eyes. He does have very, very unique eyes. Yeah. Um, with each one of them, like I said, each one's got their own personality. Max has got the personality of just kind of like a, a loner. Max will just kind of meander in the yard. Yeah. If he sees you coming, he'll come up and like literally fall down. Yeah, right he doesn't right need here. other cats, but he loves people. Every time we have visitors, he's all over them. He visits everybody in our neighborhood. We even had someone let him in one time and like, he was like in their house and they called and they were like, I found your cat. And I'm like, where are you? And I was like, well, that's where we are. <laughs> so, um, put him back out. He, he, he likes to go down through the neighborhood. And he likes to make friends with everybody. Make his rounds He's very and get all personable of his treats cat. and stuff. It's very sweet. Um, interesting fact about him though. It was, he's the one that took the unexpected ride to Black Mountain. Yeah, he, he went missing for like three weeks one time and we found him, um, we found him, some lady called from Black Mountain and said that she found him. So, it was very, very strange. But, um, so, anyways, this is Max. Um, and he actually came from, um, my family owns a rental house and then he was left there. Um, so we took him, I took him in and, um, and he's been just a sweet, sweet kitty for the longest time. It's a really good cat. So, we love our Max, don't we, Max? We love you. <laughs> Bonnie. <laughs> this, this is one's, Bonnie. This one's camera shy. This is Bonnie. Yeah. And Bonnie is he's our in. part Maine Coon, isn't it? She's yeah, got she's Maine, Maine Coon, Coon in her, and she is just a sweet thing. She's we love pretty. Her. Like, she's a little, we call her a little lioness because she looks like a little lioness. Call her Bonbon. Bonbon's yeah. her nickname. Shaky Bon Bon. Um, Bonnie's, <laughs> She's Clyde's sister. So Clyde Bonnie and her. And Clyde, yeah. yeah, they're brother and sister. And uh, Bonnie's favorite place to be, the quirk I would give about Bonnie, Bonnie's favorite place to be is Bonnie loves to sleep on top of the refrigerator. That's mm -hmm. like her go-to spot. Well, just being in the kitchen in general, she just The kitchen's her kinda, favorite that's room. That's like her place. And, and on so, top of the refrigerator. So we put a bed up on the pantry and she just... She's also our alarm system. If you get in the pantry where the T-R-E-A-T-S are stored... She hears them. She makes this, Treats. and when she makes that noise, all the other ones come running. So she's the alarm system. But yep. we love our bonbon. She's a good girl, and she just kind of keeps to herself and does she's her thing. She's a very uh, like quiet cat and very independent. Very, cat. Ind very independent. Um, she loves wet food, though. She One of the best jumpers I've ever seen. Though she can go from room to room without ever hitting the floor. Yeah, she that's jumps true. On stuff. She can. That's true. But that's bonbon. Buddy. Yeah. All right, this is Clyde, Bonnie's Bonnie and Clyde, brother. Bonnie's brother, and 
The thing about Clyde, I guess his quirk would be, Clyde wants to be loved at the most inopportune times. <sighs> the worst You time. can be asleep at like 3 in the morning, and he's in there pawing at your face like, pet me, love me. But now any other time when you want to pet him and love him, like right now, he is trying his best to get away because he's like, <laughs> I don't want it. I want to be put down. But he, he's a very needy cat. He needs attention, but he just wants attention at the worst times. Absolute worst times. Yeah. And he has no respect for personal space. <laughs> he will nudge you in the face. He will paw at your eyeball. Like, he will do whatever he has to do to get your attention. Mm-hmm. Yep. He, he's very needy, for sure. Uh -huh. um, kind of, he's kind of like... I feel like if he was a person, he'd be very stubborn. He's kind of set in his ways and just does his own thing. And he don't care what anybody tells him. And his favorite spot to be is the guest bedroom. Mm -hmm. Don't know why, but you can find him in the guest bedroom on top of the wardrobe. That's his. That's where I just literally went now to get him. That's his spot. Yeah. He likes the guest bedroom. They all have their little spots where, like, if we're looking for him, we know where, where to go. Because, like, Faith, Faith will be on the bathroom sink. That's her spot. Or on the headboard. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Bonnie's on top of the fridge. He's on top of the wardrobe. Yeah. Pumpkin's trying to cram his hind end in the top of that cat tree. That's why it's bent. And you'll see why in a minute. Because <laughs> Pumpkin is not no tiny boy. But, yeah. But, yeah, that's so Clyde Burt. Clyde and... Clyde Burt. He's always on the run and in trouble, right? Yeah. And like his Bonnie nickname's Clyde, Clyde Burt. Clyde Burt, yeah. Clyde Burt. <laughs> Ain't that right, buddy? He's a good like pusher, whatever. though. We love him. Yeah. Hey, bye, Clyde. Bye. <laughs> oh, she's not wanting it. Here, you want to hold this and I'll hold her. All right. All right, guys, this is Biscuit. She is not wanting to cooperate, but she's not feeling the whole. Here's Biscuit. She's normally really sweet. Say, I'm normally really sweet to everybody. Yeah. She's a very sociable cat. We have company over. She's the one that'll jump up in their lap yeah. and play. She's, super sweet. she's just not big. She wants to be loved on her terms. So, so she came to me one day, just like randomly just showed up on our doorstep and was like, hey, this is home now. Thanks for feeding me. And she hasn't left. Um, so she's our other outdoor kitty because she just came from the outside and she enjoys being outside. So that's why she's outside. Biscuit's personality. Biscuit's an OG. She's one of the older yeah, cats, but Biscuit is like, I'm the boss and you're going to know it. Yeah. When when she ventures inside, she lets the other cats know if I'm laying, don't mess with me. She will not hesitate if one's in the spot she wants to go over there and beat the tar out of them and take their spot. She's very much a bad <laughs> mamma jamma and everybody in there knows. If I had to say we had an alpha female, she's definitely the alpha female. And if you look, bless her heart, she had some sort of dip condition where like the tips of her ears and the tip of her tail like got, they like hardened and then they like fell off. But the vet really couldn't figure out what was wrong with her. So we now still she, don't we call really her, know. We call her mousy because she's got little mousy ears. Yeah, she's got little mousy ears, but that's okay. But she's got a good personality. Yeah, she's a super sweet cat. Loves to be loved on. Loves she's people. Right she now. doesn't love other cats, but she loves other people. But yeah, we'll let you down. But yeah, anyways, that's, that's Biscuit. Say bye, Biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is Miss Wednesday. Little Mama. Little Mama Wednesday. So <coughs> I got um, Wednesday. There was a girl that was uh, giving her away and um, wanted to know if we'd take her. And so I did. And she was a sweet cat. And then we got her. And um, she came with baggage. Yeah, literally. I didn't know she was pregnant. Um, so. That was a big surprise, um, but it was so much fun when she delivered her babies, and I got to be there with her, and she says, Put Adam me always down. gets me to tell her, tell him the story of when she went into labor, because she, like, freaked out, and, like, came and like put her like paws up on my leg and was like meow 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 it was like she was telling me like it hurts it's ready it's time it's time um so yeah she um sorry she's she was uncomfortable um she also has asthma um you can her hear her Dale, coming from a mile away because yeah. she does this her like honk sounds like a goose almost she's honks. doing it right now um but she bless her heart she can't help it but she tries but she is a good mom she's always been a good little mama she's a super sweet cat 
Um, no complaints about Miss Wednesday. Cool fact about her is she gets to live with all her babies. Like, not many yep. cats that have babies get to live with all of them, but all of her, we have all of her girls. We kept all of them. Mm -hmm. um, another cool fact was there's four of them total, and she had three, and Haley thought she was done, and they went to bed that night, and the next the next morning, Haley went in there to check on her, and she said she started meowing again, like freaking out like she did, and next thing we know, out pops Felicia. Yeah. And she, just, she had three on one day and then one on a whole a whole other day. And she it must be an Animal Kingdom thing because like she's she's a good mom to all of them, but you can definitely tell the difference in her relationship with the first three and her relationship with Felicia. Like it's it's different. Felicia's kind of the outcast. Like they all lay together and they all get along, but there's just a difference yeah. that you can notice. Yeah. But, Plus Felicia was a lot sicker when. After she was born, I, she was like, the she runt. was the runt and she was small and so, yeah. But, um, but she still treats her well and I, even now I see them lay together and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, but Wednesday's a good little kid. I just think that's so cool that they all get to live together because, yeah. like, that's very rare that yeah. you see family stay together. So, happy ending to the story and she's going to run off because she's had enough. Yep. So, <laughs> all right, we'll move on to the next one. <laughs> This is Joey, and Joey is another one of Wednesday's babies. So Wednesday had four girls, and she's one of the four. And then she also, like Binks, has a little stub tail. But the funny thing with her tail, me and her have a unique relationship because I'll just randomly come behind her and grab her tail. And when you do, you would think you're killing her. Let me see your tail, see if she'll do it. You think you're killing her because of the noise she makes. Do you hear it? You're asking them like they can tell you. She goes, meow. <laughs> like she does not like her tail messed with. Say, Daddy, with. you're messing with me. I don't she like don't like it. mess with me. Joey is very independent. Joey does her thing. Joey don't really take crap from anybody oh, yeah. either. Yeah, and Joey's a girl, by the way. <laughs> was that the one that we Joey thought? Joey and Phoebe. Was that the one friends. you thought was a? Yeah, I originally had thought two of them were boys, and I named them boy names, but I didn't change Joey because. It could be a girl name, too, so I just left it. But I did change Felicia because her name was Gus. <laughs> yeah. Gus, Gus. <laughs> that wouldn't make a good But she's girl just name. sassy and does her thing. And like I said, she don't take crap from nobody. She pretty much, if she's laying somewhere and somebody tries to knock her out of her spot, she'll hold her on and knock them out of there. So. Yeah. And Wednesday and all of her girls are all very, like, close. And they all still And I'll sometimes come to the house and I'll see her and I'll go, Josefina. <laughs> yeah, we have nicknames for all of them. Yep. We probably well, should have been telling us uh, Dale, nicknames. Get your tail out of camera. Have you been saying the nicknames? <laughs> Most we, of them. Because I call her JoJo. I don't call her Joey as much, but um, I call Binky Binky Boo. And, yeah, we yeah. have we have nicknames for all of them. So, but yep, that's Miss Joey. Joey, say bye. This is Phoebe. So Phoebe, Phoebus. Phoebe is one of Wednesday's kittens. Um, Look at Faith photo bombing up here in the corner. <laughs> you already saw Faith. See, Remember I told you she sleeps she standing sleeps up? Right standing now she's up. That's, asleep. Yeah, that's what she's doing. She's um, Phoebe is a very peculiar peculiar cat, aren't you? You're very strange sometimes, but I love you. And I have a special bond with this one. We gave her a nickname. Her <clears throat> nickname is Granny because she has resting granny face. Like, if you can see her face, she's always got this, like, <laughs> serious look. Even if you're doing something funny, like, the other ones will kind of look at you like, ah, and you can be like, hey, boo-boo, and she'll be going, but like, she's not amused. She loves the vacuum cleaner. Like, loves it. Like, she, I've literally took it, the hose, and, like, vacuumed her with it. And she will purr and the rub on it. And, like, I've never seen a cat love a vacuum cleaner. She loves that. And she loves helping me make the bed. Maybe she's just a cleaner. Yeah, if you make Maybe the bed, she will come in here every time when you're making the bed and jump up here and, like, run to the sides yeah. you're pushing down. Like, she's, she it's almost like she's pushing and, like, it down, Yeah, too. like, helps you make the bed. But maybe that's what it is. Maybe she just said she's a lot like me and she loves to clean. Yeah, she, she's a very, like Haley said, a peculiar cat. Sweet cat. Great cat. Super. But very, very strange. She's she's definitely our mature, like, matron. Even though Wednesday's the mom, she's more the one that's like, we're not having any of the, of, the, of the fooling around. We're going to be serious. She don't know what to think. Yeah, she's... And she's... She's, she's normally, like, pretty hyper. She's, like, sitting here like, what are you doing? But... Yeah, but she's a super sweet cat, and 
Um, she's just sleepy right now. Um, she actually has a condition, which <laughs> it's funny. It's like all of our cats are like, have all these medical issues, but she has a condition that's like very rare in cats. And I think the vet even told me they've only seen like a few cases in McDowell County, but she has this like, I don't even remember what it's called. It's something like with a, like an elephant paw or something is what it's called. But she's got these really puffy like paw pads and they grow these little things out of them. And it's really strange. Um, I don't even know if I could really show you because she, she like tries to hide it sometimes. But, but it doesn't bother her. No, I, mean, I have don't... to, well, they said there's no medicine or nothing for it, but I have to be careful when I'm clipping her toenails because she's got these little things that grow out of her paw pads that look like toenails. Um, but it's just the condition from that. But yeah, I don't know or a symptom from the condition, but, but yeah, she's, she's a, Strange one would be we love her and she's gonna leave now because she, she's over it <laughs> Back to her serious life. Yeah, and her granny she's gonna go and rock in the chair now So a little she bit. does spend a lot of time in that chair. Yeah, okay. All right <laughs> Hi, this is Binks Now she's getting a little get the black cat named Binks movie reference off of Hocus Pocus, um, and she's one of Wednesday's girls, and she, let's see, what's funny about Binks? I don't know. She's Binks is chill. one of the ones that has the knob tails, what oh, I yeah. call it. She has a short they tail. have the little short tail. She has a short tail. And all these that have the little short tail are funny, because if you, like, grab their tail and mess with it, they tuck <laughs> it underneath them, and they go, Meow, and they get, like, they're all offended by it. <laughs> But it's and she's she got a pitiful a little meow. But way. she's a good cat. She her personality is more. She's just chill. She just lays around. Don't really cause any trouble or anything. She does not like to have her toenails clipped. She um, she'll let me do it, but she freaks out every time I do it or anytime we give them like medicine or something. Like she's like the one that one of the ones that like fights me on that because she just doesn't like it. But but she's just her sassy little self, yeah, and we she... love her. There's a binky boo boo. Mm -hmm. yep. And that's Miss Binks. <laughs> this is Felicia. Felili. Bye, Bye Felicia. Bye Felicia. Bye Felicia. That's what we say when we leave the house. She's her. another one of Wednesday's daughters, and now we there's quite a few things on her. Number one, when Wednesday had her babies, she had three of them. And this stubborn thing decided she didn't want to come till the next day. So she waited a whole nother day before she made her appearance in the world. Mm -hmm. So she's stubborn. Um, of all of them, she's the different one. She's fluffy and fuzzy, whereas the other ones are like real short haired. Well, they say uh, cats can have like two sacks or whatever. So you can actually have kittens by different dads. So I think, because she's fuzzy too, and the other ones are just like smooth. And so I think she just had a different dad and she was probably conceived a day after as well. So that kind of makes sense. But she came the next day and she, um, when she was born, she was the runt. Now she's, I think the, I think she's bigger than all of them now. Mm -hmm. And, um, she was kind of sickly um, when they first were born. I had to take her away from Wednesday and get her looked at so I could get the rest of them medicine. But she did so well, and she was a good little kitten. But she's super cute, and um, I've got two of them over there. <laughs> That's what I've been watching. They're fixing to be a brawl. Bama, stop. It's fixing to. How do you like that, Felicia? They're taking your spotlight. <laughs> Anyway, though, <laughs> another thing about Felicia, every night when we go to bed, Felicia yes. will come flying in the bedroom. She jumps up on the bed, and she reaches out one paw and does the most pitiful little meow you've ever heard. And that's her way of telling us goodnight. Yeah. <clears throat> and like, she makes biscuits. She'll stand there crying and making biscuits for like five minutes. And then she goes off and does her own And thing. then she goes off and she's fine. She just has to tell us goodnight. But, she's, but she's, she's definitely got a different personality, too. They all do, but... Hers is very quirky, and something else about her that I think is funny, she will randomly come up to you and meow, wanting you to pet her, but then if you pet her and you pet her too much, then she hisses at you. So it's like she wants <laughs> love, but she only wants so much of it. Well, oh, that's done. all of them. That's just I don't know. Dale will let me rub on him as I speak of it. See, look. 
Dale lets me rub on him as much as I want. <laughs> he wants some of your spotlight. We might as well do girl. Dale while we've got him up here. I thought we already. Yeah, we already did. Dale. Oh, well, Dale, Dale, won't, Dale wants video. to go again. <laughs> Dale, Dale was an attention hog. We can't remember who we've already had. But we love see, Delbert. But... And we love Felili. We love Felili. Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. Okay, next up we have the troublemaker. This is if we had a difficult child, this is the one. Mm -hmm. Her name is Ronnie, a.k.a. Rhonda Meowsy. Ain't that right? She looked at you like, yep, that's me. We love Ronnie. Ronnie is sweet. But Ronnie is, if you tell Ronnie to sit, Ronnie stands. If you tell Ronnie to eat, Ronnie runs. If you tell Ronnie to sleep, Ronnie meows like crazy. Ronnie does the exact opposite of what you want yeah, Ronnie to do. Yeah, you do. She's looking at you like And what? she's our little escape artist. You open the door for more than two seconds, she's out there. But the funny thing is, as soon as she gets out there, she sits at the door and meows wanting back in. Like, she is definitely the oddball. And she's um, another one of the cats that I have that have the, I think it's called, is it a polydactyl? Polydact I have no something idea. Where they have the extra juice That sounds ball. like a bird that flew around when the dinosaurs were alive. <laughs> I think it is. Um, whatever it's called. It's poly something, I Evolution. think. Evolution. But anyways, um, she has the extra uh, little nail do call Dell or whatever, but, um, she, um, she's very quirky. She just has her quirks, but we love her and she definitely keeps us on our toes because she's the one that's just trouble all over the place, but we still love her. We love her, but she's our problem child for sure. <laughs> Are you trouble? Even right now, she's like, trouble? put me down. I'm trouble? Wanna, wanna go. Tell them, say, I'm trouble. And there's something else about her. Me and her, Haley always says me and her have a unique relationship. You do. She's the one I pick out. Like, if she's standing there, I'll come by and I'll just kind of like rub her and like, like right there. And she, she'll she look at you like she's annoyed. But then if you stop, she comes back for she more. She comes back for more. She it's like she likes the, the rough housing. So she she likes, she's one that's that. like that little sibling that you rough house with that wants more. Like, right now, I can like totally like... Burr, 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 burr. And then she will literally, Ooh, if I put her down, like come <laughs> running back and want me to do it again. Like, that's just her personality. Yeah. She's an oddball, but we love her. Yeah. Rhonda Meowsy. Say bye. All right, this so. This is Pumpkin. This is, like she said, Pumpkin. And he is, his nickname, Big Bowie or Big Red. Or he is Pumpkin a. Pumpkin Duncan. Pumpkin Duncan. Because that's his last he name. He is a hoss of a cat. When I yeah. say big, big, don't do it justice. And Pumpkin's quirk, Pumpkin likes to lay, Pumpkin don't realize how big he is. Mm -hmm. Pumpkin tries to lay on things that aren't designed to support his weight. And sometimes it makes a, a mess or it bends the cat tree is barely hanging on because he likes to lay on the top and it's bending. But he's a good cat. We love him. Good personality. But he doesn't like me holding he's him He's right a now. heifer. He gets uncomfortable <laughs> if you pick him up because he's so big. So he's like, I don't like this. And but. something else about him that I think is funny. If you jiggle the food bowl. He comes flying at 90 miles an hour. He has a food addiction. And he actually was found under my brother and sister-in-law's house. My brother found him and, and took him in. And we tried to find his owner and we couldn't find his owner. So we took him in um, so they could get him away from the dog at their house. But he has just been a very humorous baby. He keeps us laughing a lot. He's, he's funny. funny. He, he's definitely the funny one. And <laughs> nine times out of ten is cause of his sight. And, We've noticed everybody that comes over, he's the one they usually go for because they're like, where's the big one? Yeah, where's the fat one at? Yeah, pumpkin. They ask where pumpkin is. So. Chunky monkey. But if you all can't see, I'll kind of, <laughs> ooh, you don't like it, but show you how big he is. He's a big old boy. Yeah, he's a beast. He's a little, hunk, a little chunky. <laughs> oh, but we're going to put him back. down because he's getting Hi, ticked pumpkin. off. See you, pumpkin. <laughs> Miss Growly. All right, next one. up is, her name is Jenny, but we hardly ever call her Jenny. She is such a puffy cat like like fluffy and furry we call her floof That's well just... let's go back so we got two kittens now these were the only two cats that i got with adam since we've been together i want y'all if you if y'all can hear that just thought she i love her but she is miss personality listen just listen she'll lay here and let us hold her but she's pitching a fit yeah, the whole time she's yeah, so um, so we got, those two were the only two cats that we got since we've been together. So uh, we named them Forrest Gump and Jenny, and then poor little Forrest um, didn't live too long. He had um, some sort of heart defect, and he passed away. when He we was went, such a good cat. We though. went to take him to get neutered, and he passed away. But this is his sister, Jenny, and Jenny did really good with her spade. 
or space, Spain, Spain surgery, whatever, how you ever say that. But anyways, um, she did really well. They still think that she might have a little bit of a heart defect that could, um, you know, show up maybe later on, but she's fine right now. But she definitely has her personality. She likes to be rubbed when she wants to be rubbed. She, um, likes to be picked up when she likes to be yeah, picked up. Yeah, and she has a food aggression, I guess, because she used to live out on the streets. <laughs> and she growls the whole time you're holding her. See, she won't, she won't really slap at you or bite at you or anything, but she'll growl. Yeah. But, um, we, like I said, we don't hardly ever call her Jenny. We call her Floof. Floof yep. is her Floof. nickname. And she's just little Miss Sassy Pants. She's definitely our little sassy one. Stop. See, now we're getting them all on video, and they all are showing themselves like no i'm telling you normally all of our cats are very chill very laid back just very sweet loving cats but then when you when you try to tell people that and then they show up it doesn't they don't they show themselves <laughs> they she do says, the opposite Put me down i'm gonna let her go because she's getting mad at me and she'll probably come and attack me in my sleep tonight oh, so that's true all right that's floof, floof. go ahead floof. <laughs> run off